Hello everyone, and welcome to the Thoughtful Free Space, putting your mind to things you may not normally think about. Today is the second episode for the Week of Fear, bringing your mind to understand the power behind fears and phobias. The topic of today deals with something humans have dealt with since we have existed. It lurks in every corner and appears every night. Today, we are talking about darkness. Let's get into it. Darkness as a condition is the polar opposite of brightness and is the condition where there is an absence of visible light. As the sun starts to set and night begins, darkness approaches. The fear of darkness is called aclophobia, though it is often known as nyctophobia. Nycto coming from nyctis, which means night or darkness, while phobia comes from phobos, which means dread or deep fear. Besides nyctophobia and aquaphobia, the fear of the dark has also been called by other names, such as scotophobia from fear of darkness and ligophobia, fear of twilight. The fear of darkness is an extremely common fear, where it first occurs in around 90% of children around the age of 2. During the ages of 6 and 12, many children will commonly experience this fear due to being left alone. Most children grow out of this as they get older and become adults, but some adults still feel this fear. When experiencing nyctophobia, becoming nervous in a dark environment or reluctance to sleep without light is very common. This can result in both physical and psychological changes. Physical symptoms include shivering, increased heart rate, rapid breathing, and nausea to name a few. Psychological symptoms include becoming clingy, not wanting to go outside at night, or even refusing to sleep alone. This condition can result in lack of sleep, anxiety, or even mental disorders like depression. In adults, this is extremely serious because it may lead to a lack of productivity and affect their daily livelihood. Now though nyctophobia is common, it is an irrational fear as there is nothing darkness can do specifically. Most people, especially children, fear what can come from the darkness or what may come out if light is turned on in darkness. This results in frightful images being created that causes the fear. Possible causes of nyctophobia are thought to be due to being alone in the dark as a child, being shown different media pertaining to gore or paranormal activities, as well as traumatic experiences such as domestic violence or even sexual abuse. This is because those who go through such an experience will react in different ways and may associate their surroundings with the event, which makes them fearful of it. While this is what most currently think of the fear of the dark as, there may also be an evolutionary component as well. Many creatures hunt at night, and early humans are no exception. The fear of those experiences may have been ingrained over many years as a learned behavior. This is why so many things in media, like movies and games related to horror, have a dark theme around them. It makes us uneasy, and causes us to imagine things that may or may not be there. And that is nyctophobia, the fear of darkness. Hopefully you all learned something new, or at least think about it in a different way. If you liked it, show your love with a thumb and subscribe for more. Tomorrow's episode crawls in at the same time and contains something just a bit creepy. Thank you very much, and stay awesome.